Hey, it's Henry Gartley, down at the Rustic Historical and Art Museum. Thought we'd take a quick peek at uh, our barrel piano. It's uh, kind of a precursor to the player piano. You had a crank, <clears throat> put the crank in right here. And uh, as long as you cranked, you had some music. If you stopped cranking, you didn't have any music. Now the barrel that's in this one has got 10 songs and some are waltzes, some are two steps, five steps. And you could actually replace the barrel, you could buy another barrel that had other songs on it. While you crank it, this pitcher moves and has other pitchers on it, so it, you had both audio and visual. Um, it's in good shape. It doesn't sound very good because it's way out of tune. <clears throat> it was purchased from a company called August Pullman and they sold these instruments down in New York City. And this came uh, to us from Nickerson Lake. It was in a camp. And as you can imagine how much fun that would be, I'm sure the grandkids like to hear it play. Well, we can see this is where the crank goes and it turns this worm gear and uh, this is the barrel and with all those little 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 pieces on it and uh, it trips the pieces in the back to make a tune. The problem is is it is just like a piano and man is it out of tune so it doesn't sound too good. Uh, this barrel has got several uh, songs on it, and you can adjust what song you want to listen to over here. What do we got? One through nine. Uh, and you can actually buy, or at the time, you could have bought another barrel to put in there, swap it out, and listen to some other songs. This is the American Index Typewriter number two. And I put the piece of paper in here just to give you an idea how it worked. So it's not like a typewriter like we would normally think of where you'd have all sorts of keys. This printed one letter at a time. Um, <clears throat> and it wasn't meant to for like long correspondence. It was just meant for something um, like a short message that you wanted to be clear, like maybe a bill or some such thing as that. The other thing that these had a real advantage to was they were about five dollars. So they were way cheaper than most typewriters at the time. Um, this one's missing. Most of them are mounted to a wooden pedestal and the wood's finished and it's lacquered and it's pretty. And then on the front there's like a little latch and then there's a metal box that fits down over the top and latches and there's a little handle and you can actually carry it around. This one doesn't appear to be in working order but the idea is that you would be moving this to whatever letter you wanted and pressing it down and it, that letter would appear there and it would also advance. Then you'd move this to the next letter you wanted to when you'd press it down. So it was a slow sort of thing. They said if you got good at it, you could get up to 40 words per minute. That's about all I could do on a regular typewriter. Um, fascinating little piece. Uh, it's got black lacquer on it, uh, some little gold uh, decorations on it. Uh, just, just so interesting. Uh, this was donated to the Aroostook and Historic and Art Museum by Donald Hall of Oakfield. And uh, we certainly appreciate that. The uh, American Index Typewriter number two.